The Hoyon Canvas Pro 24 inch 4K tablet isn't better than the Cintiq Pro because the screen doesn't feel as good. But at $1,300, it's $700 cheaper than the Cintiq Pro and has a number of advantages like a small form factor, an adjustable height stand, and no fan noise. Let's hit the big one first, is this tablet better than the Cintiq Pro? And I say no. The Cintiq Pro has a silky smooth feel as the pen glides across the screen. Sort of like a micro nib on a sketch pad. Whereas the Canvas Pro has a more plastic pen on monitor feel that's maybe closer to a ballpoint pen on printer paper. Hoyan does provide these paper-like nibs with the tablet and they feel much better, but they do wear down over time and it's still not as good as the Cintiq Pro. Now my nibs have bent a little bit from what I can best describe as user error. No, no, careful, careful. No! But luckily they gave me plenty more to replace it. That earlier part in the video was recorded in the past and it's now fall and I've since grown a mustache. Even though there's a difference in how these screens feel, it actually wasn't a big deal for my drawing. I'm used to drawing on the iPad Pro, and the Canvas Pro screen feels much better than that. I use my iPad a ton, but I'm not a huge fan of how it feels, and I've started carrying around a little sketchbook instead, but that's for another video. Even though it didn't have a huge impact on my drawing, sculpting definitely felt better on the Cintiq Pro. The softer feeling screen made a big difference in my ability to apply lighter strokes so that I could blend my values together a little bit better. I'm not sure it made a difference in the final product, but it just felt better while sculpting. And this is it. This is the major difference. This is what makes the Cintiq Pro $700 more. It's all about how the pen feels on the screen. Not only does the Cintiq Pro screen feel better, I think it looks a little bit better than the Canvas Pro. I'm not the best with color, but I feel like the color temperature on the Canvas Pro is a little bit too warm for my liking. Now having said that, on top of the lower price tag, there were a few things that the Canvas Pro does better than the Cintiq Pro. I never realized how big the Cintiq Pro was on my desk until I started using the Canvas Pro, and the fact that the screen lacks these extra bezels or bevels or however you say it, makes this tablet so much easier to move around my desk as I change whatever I'm doing. I was just doing this as a bit of theater to show how you can do different things in the Canvas Pro, but then I ended up playing for 6 hours and missed dinner. Since I'm still learning to draw, I have all these reference books that I look at as I'm doing my construction and gesture and anatomy. Having this smaller screen has made a big difference, so if you're someone that's actively learning and likes to have reference open, the smaller form factor is going to be an improvement for you. I also love how the Canvas Pro doesn't have any extra fan noise. The Cintiq Pro fan pretty much blows constantly because I like the screen a little bit brighter, but that's not a problem with the Canvas Pro, and I'm the kind of person that likes silence when I do my work. Wow. Daddy, do that. Okay, Daddy will do it. I love the fact that Hoyon offers a $30 adjustable height stand. Maybe they should have just included it for free, but $30 is pretty cheap, and it's a great stand. In fact, it's so good, I've been using it on the Cintiq Pro because I bought the VESA mount stand, and the Hoyon stand is VESA mount compatible. The drivers work fine on the Canvas Pro, and I actually like the UI that Hoyon uses for their drivers better than the Cintiq Pro drivers, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. I've gotten some questions on my previous videos about the longevity and durability of Hoyon tablets, so I use the Hoyon on Canvas Pro for nine months before I made this review, and after regular heavy use, I haven't experienced any quality issues. Is the Hoyon Canvas Pro better than the Cintiq Pro? No, the screen doesn't feel as good, and that does matter, but to be honest, after using this for nine months, I just stopped caring. When I first switched, it was kind of jarring because the screen doesn't feel as good, and the pen is a little bit different, and the nib's not as smooth, but after nine months, I just stopped caring, and I've kind of started to love this tablet. It's smaller, it's easier to manage, this is probably the tablet I'm going to use going forward just because it takes up less desk space for me and has no fan. If you're very dedicated to digital art, which as I say is doing digital art more than 5 hours a week, the Cintiq Pro is probably the one to go with, especially if you can afford it. But having owned both, it really doesn't matter. This tablet's fun, and I fully recommend it. That's all I have to say. I hope you like this video, and get excited for the next one. No, no, careful, careful. No!